we have to discuss one of the important topic related to the market. The two major market forces, demand and supply, are the discussion topic of the day. We have to start with uh, the first part of the market equilibrium uh, determination concept, that is a demand. So, demand and supply are the two words that economics or economists use most often. Uh, demand and supply are the forces that uh, make market economics work, modern microeconomics is about supply, demand and market equilibrium. And we know what is a market? Market is a group of buyers and sellers of a particular commodity or service. Buyers determine demand, demand for the product. And uh, sellers determine uh, supply of the product. And these two parties, buyers and sellers are activating in the market. Uh, they are determining the demand for a commodity and the supply of the commodity. Uh, these two are the major forces of uh, market in any modern term. Today we have to concentrate on the term uh, demand. So what is the meaning of the term demand? Uh, demand is a quantity purchased at a point of time at a given price. So quantity demanded is the amount of a commodity that buyers are willing and able to purchase a commodity. Demand is the amount of a good that a consumer is willing to buy and able to purchase over a period of time at a certain price is known as the quantity demanded of that commodity. So in uh, quantity demanded, the three uh, factors and the three terms are connected with. First one, ability of the consumer to pay. The second one, willingness of the consumer to pay. Above all the two factors, there is the wish for the consumer to, need for the consumer to purchase the commodity. So in short, we have to say that demand is a sum total of a wish to purchase, ability to purchase and willingness to pay for the commodity. Uh, today, we have to uh, talk about, discuss about what are the factors affecting demand for a commodity. The major factor determining the demand for a commodity is price of the commodity. Normally, if other factors uh, are constant, uh, in Latin term, we can tell uh, that uh, ceteris paribus. Ceteris paribus means uh, the things being equal. The demand for a commodity uh, inversely related to its price. It means when the price is more, less will be demanded and price is less, more will be demanded. So, one of the important and crucial factor influencing the demand for a commodity is price of the commodity. Second uh, factor is price of the related commodities like substitutes and complementary goods. We know substitutes are those goods which are substitutable to each other. We can use one for another, for example, tea and coffee. So in the case of uh, substitutes, when the price of a, a substitute increases, for example, when the price of uh, coffee increases, the coffee consumers will uh, move from coffee to tea. It means demand for tea will increase. In the case of complementary goods, complementary goods are those goods which are complemented to each other. We have to use them simultaneously, not possible to use separately. For example, electricity and uh, electronic gadgets, petrol and automobiles. When the price of petrol increases, demand for its uh, complementary commodity that is automobile, scooter, car will decrease. So there is a positive relationship between price of the uh, commodity and the quantity demand of uh, its uh, substitutes. There is an inverse relationship between price of the commodity and the quantity demanded of its complementary. And the third factor influencing 
it uh, demand for a commodity is the level of income income normally has a positive impact on the demand for a commodity when income increases income of the consumer increases more quantity will be demanded in the case of normal commodities but there are some commodities named as inferior commodities like a tapioca because of the low income consumers are demanding tapioca when price of uh, when when income of the consumer increases when his standard of living improves surely demand for inferior commodities will decline decrease so income normally has a positive impact on the demand for a commodity and uh, in the fourth factor influencing the demand for the commodity is taste and uh, preferences of the consumer the marketing strategies of the producers will influence the taste preferences when time passes taste and preference of the consumers will change if there is a positive change towards a commodity related to positive change related to the uh, demand for a commodity Uh, when uh, taste of the consumer uh, positively favorable to the commodity surely demand will increase so taste and consumers taste and preference of the consumers have its own impact on a uh, demand for a commodity so, so these uh, taste and preferences can be influenced by the uh, supplier producer through uh, different marketing strategies and uh, another factor influencing the uh, demand for a commodity is an equitable distribution of the income in a community so that will increase the demand uh, and uh, uh, demand for goods and uh, services so if there is a uh, equity equality in the distribution of the income in a community it has a positive impact on the demand for the uh, commodity so uh, let me conclude uh, in the topic of discussion uh, what we made today we talked about uh, uh, two major forces influence demand influence the market they are a demand and the supply demand uh, is uh, by the consumer the supply is by the producer both the uh, forces are uh, acting to make uh, equilibrium price in a market then uh, demand uh, is uh, desire plus ability to pay plus willingness to pay and the demand uh, can be defined as quantity purchase at a given time at a given price If the major uh, forces influencing the factors influence the demand are price of the commodity price of uh, related commodities income of the consumer taste and uh, preferences of the consumer and equitable distribution of the income of the community thank you